everybody, Jim Sabowski for EA Sports. We're in Vancouver with one of the most passionate fan bases in the hockey universe. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz of this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening faceoff. A little crash and a banging forces the turnover. Saka's taking it from his own end. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. A chance in front! Big save, the score! Wait, hang on here, they're waving it off immediately. This is not gonna count, James. The goaltender had no chance of playing that puck. This is gonna be goaltender interference. Well, clearly not happy with the ref's decision, but they'll have to play on with this face-off. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Lindholm's moving the puck through his own zone. The Bruins take it along the way. And the road team quickly gets on the board, and this play's got quite a quick. Well, it's always tough when you're on the road, James, but when you get off to a good start, you're prepared, and you turn the momentum, it's all in your favor. The puck movement in the offensive zone is what opens up the seam and the set position of this one-timer, James. It's good movement, and then, of course, the one-timer, the weight transfer, and the great timing that's able to finish it off. Boston's come to play tonight. They've been very aggressive to start, and as a result, Cheryl, they got the lead. Typically, the home team has the advantage, James, so when the away team comes into the barn, they want to make sure that they're not flat-footed, that they're urgent, they're aggressive. And to start this period, to start the game, they've been ready right from the hop, and they're rewarded with a goal. Sends a pass over. Moves it in front! Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Demko's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Carlo's been showing some frustration. You know, when you want to contribute as an athlete, especially when you have a strong skill set, and then you're in a pointless streak, man, the frustration grows and it builds, and you start to squeeze the tech tight. Takes the feed from the wing. Centering feed. Oh, it comes up with a stop. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. And that's stolen by Pedersen. And a great save. Miller's back in the lineup after nursing his injury, and sometimes it can be frustrating and you can feel a little slow to start, but he creates some offense right off the hop. Vancouver's in transition. Avoids the quick kick. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Kiki. Poked away in the neutral zone. Puck grab by Zadorov. Here's a short pass to Kiki. Boston's got it along the wall. And he takes the feed. And he stands tall in goal. Great cross ice pass. And he slides it quickly to Suter. Here's a shot. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Yeah, that's a bad pass, and they'll be forced to do this over again. Dishes it off. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Grabbed along the board by Susie. And that's poked away by Frederick. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Oh, that's a huge stop by Demko. The Bruins going to work on offense. Picked up along the wall by Carlo. Sends the pass over. It's a straight up race for the puck. Sends one up to Frederick. Great feed from the left side. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Strong's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to be the task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. Boston's won the defensive zone draw. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Into the offensive end now. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. The Canucks cross the line and gain the zone. Feeds it over. Take it along the wall by Besser. Passes it over. Boston's got the puck shorthanded. Kiki's got it along the wing. 
The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Gains the zone along the right wall. Quick pass to Lindholm. Tries to get the puck to McAvoy. Castellitz got it to the neutral zone. Broken up in the neutral zone by Miller. Into the offensive zone. Oh, what a move! Centering team! And he denies that great opportunity there. Boston's looking to break out. Takes the shot. Puck is frozen and will get a faceoff. Suter's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. The Canucks come up with the defensive zone draw. Pumps the puck away. Tip toes around the puck check and makes the save. Moves it to peak. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Tap dances around the check. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Scooped up along the wall by Mikheyev. Takes the feed from the left side. Moves it to the offensive zone. Slides it across. Stores him in front. Moves it quickly over to Coyle. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. The Bruins maintain that one goal lead thanks to a solid effort by the penalty killers. Well, they're going to continue to trail here because they weren't able to get the equalizer on the power play. A missed opportunity, and really, timing is everything, so they'll have to figure out a way to dictate pace and get back on the goal. This penalty kill will continue. 
Miller's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Now a quick pass to Besser. Moves the puck along the half wall. And somehow, someway, he comes up with a stop with his glove. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Quatra is up and ready to get back on the ice. Boston's time in the box is up, and we are back to even strength and still tied up here. I like this PK, James. When one goes, you all go very aggressive, and look at the shots they get off of it. Just here in the late stages of this frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Vancouver's going to start with the puck in their own end. Knocked away with the stick by Carlo. Picked up along the boards by Pasternak. The Canucks move it ahead. And he takes the feed. Moves it to Hoaglander. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Carlo's stick handling in his own zone. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Fires it on net. Oh, what a save by Demko. A player should never be left alone in this slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Angles it over to Saka. Moves inside. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. Moves it quickly over to McAvoy. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Here's the chance in front. And turns off a twig in front of the net. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather, a recharge. The players will too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. Puck is dropped on period number two, and we are still even up. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Vancouver's been no shot in this game, James, and I think it's because they're a step behind. They're going to have to find some urgency in those first five strides if they want to get the puck with any type of speed. And they all set to fight for the interior of the ice. They've been on the perimeter all game long. And that goes off a player. Demko's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Miller's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Solid check to slow him down. Feeds the puck over to Pedersen. Can't maintain possession. Moves the puck. And he sends it across. Cash in again. DeBrusk's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, what a big time stop by Sweeman. Boston's got the puck along the wall. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Puck picked up by Mikheyev. And they continue to apply pressure here. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Quick feed to Sidora. The Bruins have it now. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Smart defensive play there. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Oh, what a blocker stop by Demko. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. The Bruins have a decided edge in the shot department and also in the score as well here in the second. What 
Montrose want it in their own end. Gets the puck over to Frederick. And he takes the pass. Blocked in traffic. And now he moves it quickly to Middleton. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. The Bruins have it from their own end. And look at the hustle here as they wave off the ice in Cheryl. Well, intangible, that is the word this coach is looking for. The aggressive ability to get on that puck and negate icing. Demko's gonna hang on for a whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Boston's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Vancouver's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And he avoids the poke check with some great edge work. Made the stop on the play. Here's a short pass to Luger. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Picks up the feed. Grabbed along the board by Zaka. To his teammate. Looks to pass it to Miller. And he slides it quickly to Besser. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Quick pass to Lindholm. Taken by Brazzo. Fires it. Off the club and makes the save. Drops to the page. Trapper save. When that puck came hard and it came fast and it came multiple times, but he was right on it, showing his athleticism to make those saves. Past the midway mark in this period, the Bruins lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Nice job tying up his opponent. Vancouver's moving it along the wing. Puck scooped up by Lindholm. Big save in front. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Boston's ready to go on the attack. Feeds it over. And he loses control of the puck. Vancouver's got control of it now from the road end. Moves it to Suter. All alone! What a save by the Tendi there! Well, he's exuding a ton of confidence, not sitting back in his neck, challenges, and makes the All save. Alone with the goaltender. Demko's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key save that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Here in the late goings of the period, it's 2-1. Vancouver's won the face-off deep in their own end. Feeds the puck across to DeBrusque. Poked away at center by Carlo. The Canucks have it against the wall. Takes a shot. Blocker save. Takes the feed. Here we go, on man rush. Sends it in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. Quattro's gonna play it from the back of the cage. And that's off target as it hits a body. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Moves it quickly over to Garland. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Peek swooping in on the attack. Sends the pass in front. And that doesn't connect. Look at this. They gain the zone. Passes it over. Perfect. A stick save and crutches the rush. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Teams are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. The puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Vancouver's got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent has really dominated possession because of it. They've been chasing the game. they got to do something when they get the puck, and they got to be confident with it. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 
The Bruins are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Good job tangling up his opponent here. From the open ice, they gain the line. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Oh, you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. They've got an on-man rush. Takes it over. Oh, it's straight up. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Looking to set up offensively. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Saka. Boston's going to play it from the corner. The Canucks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes the feed. Quick feed to McAvoy. And it's a quick pass to Kiki. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Into the corner of the attacking area. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Sends it across the ice. Tries to get it to DeBrusk. Here's a shot. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. And he slides it quickly to Coyle. Puts it on net. What a stop. Boston's ahead in this game because of their second line. I've been really impressed with their performance tonight, James. When you look at the trio, you have to look at the physical engagement, the way they're distributing the puck, and hey, the finish that goes hand in hand with it. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. The Bruins have shown no signs of stopping putting pucks on net, and they lead it here in this third. The Canucks take possession here inside the offensive zone. Puck possession right off the draw, James, against a very tired group who just iced the puck, leads to an opportunity. Boston's got the puck. tonight another big face off here on this power play looking to break out here on the power play you'll need more than that to beat him handles the pass can't get it to go the Canucks take it across the blue line centering feed off the stick and they can't complete the play keeps possession through the neutral zone and into the offensive end 
The Bruins looking against the half wall. They fight for it along the boards. Find some space in the corner. Denies him with the save. Demko's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and coach can get the right personnel out there. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And there he is, stopped by Demko. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Frederick's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Bruins will go to work here in the offensive side. Oh, what a stop by Demko. You know the goal is dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. Middleton's penalty is almost expired. Oh, I thought it was going to get good, and he somehow got a piece of that. Past the midway mark, and it's running. Shooters run the face off here in the offensive zone. Shuts them down. And that's picked off. Here they come on the attack. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Gains the zone through center. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Hughes plays it now. Sends it quickly to Garland. Makes some space. James, I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. He does 
doesn't get the shooter any time to get rid of it. In the final moments of this period, the Bruins are looking to build on this one goal lead. Miller's won the draw and they're on the attack. Here he is on the backhand. Played big in the moment there. Now over to McKayev. Here's an odd man rush. Oh, and here's the pass. Denies that opportunity. Denies him again. Picked up along the wall by Besser. With the puck inside the defensive zone. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Tries to feed it over to Peak. Can't get a hold of that pass. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. Hughes has it in the defensive end. Good hit to knock the puck loose. To the empty net. Scores into the empty net. And that should probably run this one up. Yeah, we have a little seal the deal, James. The insurance marker and a lot of fun as well. Goal scoring is fun. Doesn't matter how it goes in, even if it is an empty net. Well, pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. The Bruins' persistence pays off as they get the empty netter, and that should probably do it here for this one, Cheryl. Yeah, that should be the insurance marker. James, they've got a comfortable lead now. They can all breathe a little bit lighter, and that should finish it off. Plays the puck into that play. Goalie's at the bench, and the extra scores into the empty net. Uh, you pull your goaltender for the extra attacker, and then you're unable to convert and execute, and it winds up going the other way, and you pay the price. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. Boston's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. Well, Cheryl, there's a reason why we pay you the big bucks. How do you interpret what went down tonight? I mean, the empty net goals is certainly a hot-button topic here. You take your goaltender out in desperation. You want to find a way to win the game. And once that first one goes in, I've been on the other side of it as the defender. And let me tell you, it ain't fun when you got one, two, multiple goals going in. Thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. See ya.